Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday all day long. Tuesday, May the 21st. Today, I'm going to share with you what the people on Instagram get to see that you don't get to see on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to see what that is, figure out what that is. Stick around. We'll be right back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. (laughs) Oh boy. If you're not watching on Instagram, you missed out. All right. So good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning, the show where we talk about how you can start, start, grow and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. And you know what? You don't have to be a business owner to be an entrepreneur. We'll get to that at some point. Hey, when you get here, if you'll do me a favor, just leave a comment, say hi. Hey, how you doing? There's the chicken right back there. Ask about the chicken. Whatever floats your boat, I'll be happy to get your comment. And if you're stuck on how to comment, just name and where you're watching from is a great place to start. If you have something you'd like for me to cover today or a question or input on our topic, be sure and throw that in there. And if, you know, it strikes you and you like what we're talking about, throw the old thumbs up, the hearts, the likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching. So I found out, I I, I mentioned this a lot. Um, but I've got two cameras going here, one for Facebook and YouTube, the other one for Instagram. And I realized, and, and every morning I sit down here and I kind of, you know, check the hairs around. Okay. Shirt looks okay. So this shirt <coughs> is my Ron Burgundy t-shirt. And I realized when I turned the Instagram camera on that it can see that and the YouTube and Facebook camera cannot. So that's what Instagram gets to see that you guys don't. So if you're ever out and about and uh, Instagram's a better venue for you, right up, wrong corner, right up there, there, there we go. That's the old handle on Instagram. And a uh, quick good morning to Abby and Joe as we get started on our topic this morning. So uh, there's a quote that I use uh, every once in a while from uh, Winston Churchill that says, goes something like, if you're going through hell, keep going. The point being that, and, and, I, and I heard this said, oh, I don't know, it's been a couple of years ago now. Um, Tony Robbins said this, and I, it, it I disagreed initially, and then I came around. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional, right? So we create this set of expectations for ourselves, especially especially as it relates to our success. I've got my degree. I should have that job. Why am I not running the company, right? Um, I've been here for three years. Why am I not? you know, at the top of the ladder, we, we create these expectations and, and, and goals are fine. Expectations have the opportunity to create frustration, right? Frustration is a function of expectation. So a goal to run the company is fine. If it helps you with your decision-making about how to get there, an expectation that you will be doing that within X amount of time, Even a goal that says, I want to run the company in five years, fine. All right, that's cool. The expectation that you'll be doing that is bad. So we create these these conditions, these environments where uh, we expect a certain outcome. And then when that outcome does not occur on our timeline, we have failed. At least that's what we tell ourselves. But what I want you to, I, I, I had the opportunity recently to work with another business owner who was making an exit. This has been several that I've worked with now. And, and just in the course of the conversation, planning the exit and kind of wrapping things up, it's this kind of, uh, not really fatalistic, but, but failure oriented conversation ensued about, well, 
you know, I had such big hopes and dreams for this company, and I wish we could have done this, but we never were able to do this, and we're never able to do that, blah, 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 blah. And I said, look, you, this, this company survived more than a year. That, that's better than 70% of the companies that are starting, right? And in fact, I think they're around 11 years, so that's better than 95% of companies that are started. In the course of doing that, you managed to keep your family clothed, fed, housed, sent some kids to school, kept employees employed. This was a successful enterprise. Don't look back at it and say, you know, we failed. They had set what had happened was they had set these expectations. And again, goals are fine. Don't mistake what I'm saying between goals and expectations. I can set a goal that says I want to have a hundred customers or a thousand or 10,000 or a hundred thousand, whatever the number is. I don't care. And we can even set a timeline that says I want those hundred customers in the next, you know, as long as it's realistic, then in the next 12 months. Then you just make decisions that start heading in that direction. But when we set an expectation that says, I've done this, so now I get that, it doesn't work that way. And, you know, with this business owner, exiting business owner I was talking with, well, you know, I've had the business for 10 years. We should have been able to do this, that, and the other. Yeah, okay, well, you didn't. But you did do this. And don't be dismissive of the accomplishment that that represents. Okay? So, back around to our quote. If you, if you're going through hell, keep going. Just make sure that it's really hell. This might be, you, you might be creating the, this own, uh, pit of despair for yourself. Right? Look at what you've accomplished so far. Are you still on track to reach the goal? Is, is this a step in the journey? Look, the, the, the attainment of a goal, mm, man, I really don't want to tell you this. <laughs> the attainment of a goal, the, the value in attaining the goal is the pursuit of the goal. Right? Find your joy. Be able to find your joy and your, fulfill, and your fulfillment, get that word out there, in pursuing the goal. Don't say that the goal is the only way I'm going to be happy because... 99.9% of the time, that goal is going to move, it's going to shift, it's going to adjust. And when I've hung my hat on, think about it this way. How many of us, you know, we're going to school and say, wow, when I get my degree, everything's going to change. When I get my master's degree, everything's going to change. When I start my business, everything's going to change. Right? Make the pursuit of the goal. Find your joy in the pursuit of the goal. That's the way I wanted to say it. Find your joy in the pursuit of the goal. Yes, use the goal as a decision-making tool, but find your joy in pursuing the goal. All right, that's it for today. Today is Tuesday. That means it's radio show day today. I'll be on Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. Uh, dot com and talk radio for entrepreneurs is the name of the show. You can listen live WTKI radio.com, WTKI radio.com or talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. Or if you're in the Huntsville area, 1450 AM, 1053 FM. And I'll be back here in the morning with another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Until then, you guys have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you then. <laughs>